Hi, I'm Pete Keller with Republic Services. I'm here today with Lane McAllister to talk to you about our 2016 sustainability report. One of the key goals of our sustainability report has to do with safety, and Lane is one of our key leaders uh, in safety space here at Republic Services. So Lane, thanks for joining us today. Glad to be here, and uh, we're talking about uh, one of the subjects that's uh, close to my heart, right, and it's safety. Yeah, so as long as you and I can remember, yeah. safety's been the number one priority here at Republic Services, and you think about the type of business that we're in, you know, the type of hazards that exist and the type of services that we provide, you know, we're really proud of our record, we're really proud of uh, our results. We tout um, results uh, in and around OSHA recordable that's consistently, and in fact, uh, much better than industry average was wondering if you could talk to us a little bit about some of the programs, some of the training, some of the recognition to drive th those types of results and successes uh, over the years. Yeah, and, and, it, and it's exciting to know, right, how much better we are than the industry average. And obviously we do a lot of things to get there, right? Uh, one of the things that we do from a loss prevention standpoint is we have our flagship program, which is called Focus 6. And as you know, Focus 6 concentrates on those top six things uh, which produce frequency and or severity. And sometimes when we think of severity, we think of life-changing events. And kind of to relate to your first comment on hazards, we drive these big trucks, right. right? And sometimes it's in small, tight areas. And what we really need to do is be focused on what we do. And that's what the program does. It looks at intersections and pedestrians and rear collisions and accidents related to backing, right? Because right. we back a lot you know, in our business. But the program really is fun and it's a fresh new program every month. In other words, it's not a, a flavor of the month. Uh, we don't buy something off a shelf, right? A plain wrap program. Uh, we actually go into the field and I happen to be a part of that where I go in and I interview frontline employees as they do the job, right. um, you know, as they get dirty, right? As, uh, as they, as they go about at the recycling centers or at the transfer stations or the landfills or the hauling companies. Uh, it's really great to not only get to know them and what they do, but it's great to hear them teach their peers. And I think that's probably part of the success of the program is that it's peer to peer. And uh, what better person to listen to, right, than that person that's actually doing the job with you. Yeah, one of the things that I think is so great about Focus 6 and that I think is probably the largest success of the, of the, the program, right, is that it's frankly not an initiative, it's not an event, it's part of our culture, right? Yeah. It's just kind of who we are. Yeah. Uh, and, and I'm sure that makes you proud, it certainly makes me proud. Uh, a lot of what you just described uh, in and around Focus 6 and some of the programs that we have, uh, primarily internally focused. Could you talk a little bit about some of the external programs that we have? Sure, we're uh, super excited about our relationship with an organization called Together for Safer Roads. Uh, in fact, we have stickers on the back of our trucks uh, that promote our relationship with Together for Safer Roads. And what the organization is, uh, it's a private coalition of companies. They're Fortune 500 companies, so they're, they're pretty big players in the marketplace, um, coming together to tackle fatalities across the world. And uh, it's so exciting to partner with other companies that are not within your industry, right? And learn how they do things and to be able to share because from time to time, we're not good sharers, <laughs> you know? And we really should be, right. especially when it comes to an initiative related to uh, fatalities on the roadway. And as you know, and I think as we all know, uh, distracted driving is just huge these days and uh, you know, hopefully won't get worse, but it's, it's a real issue that we're all dealing with as we all drive on the roadways, whether it's you know, using our cell phones or texting while we're driving. Um, these are real things. You know, I think about some of our programs, right, and, and the things that we do to help our men and women be better professional drivers, that's only part of the equation, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got all these other hazards out there you know, distracted driving, teen, teenage driving, all those things that, 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 that are just part of being out there on the roads on a daily basis and to have internal and external uh, focus, I think can provide the greatest opportunities to keep everybody safe. So switch gears a little bit. Yeah. Uh, earlier this year at our general manager's conference, uh, we had kind of the best of the best in uh, to Phoenix, uh, drivers, technicians from all around the country yeah. to compete in, in a rodeo uh, contest. Could you, could you talk a little bit about how they got there, what they did, some of the outcomes relative to 
engagement and, and just chatter back at, at their home divisions? <laughs> sure, yeah, the rodeo, right? If people aren't familiar with the rodeo, you know, they might think of the Buck and Bronco. And of course, we're not doing that here. Uh, we're talking about driving these big pieces of machinery and not only driving them, I guess it's driving them well. Um, so what we do from a truck rodeo standpoint is we compete all over the country at the local level. So we had, oh, it had to be over 100 local rodeos right across the country. And, and those best of the best, uh, to your phrase, rolled up to the championship that occurred here in Phoenix. And it was just so great uh, to see the appreciation, right, to the employees, to, to feel that recognition that you could just see in their face. You know, they brought their families, the anticipation of who was gonna win, and then to uh, hear the announcement and, and see the drivers go up there and, and receive their uh, award, right? And their recognition was, was, was powerful and it was fun. Now, it's certainly yeah. one of the highlights of the year, no doubt about it. Yeah. So as, as you reflect back on some of the work that we've done, mm -hmm. certainly some of the successes we've had over time and some of the work that we're doing, mm -hmm. how do you think that all fits into where the company's going, uh, not only from a strategic standpoint in and around you know, attraction, retention of the best drivers in the yeah. world, but just, you know, from a sustainability standpoint and what that means for our customers and the communities that we serve. Sustainability is so important, right? And to do that, right, we do need the best drivers. We need the best equipment. Uh, we just need the best people working together. And one of the things that I think of when I think of sustainability as it relates to safety is not only what we've talked about, but kind of our primary goal in the safety piece is we want that employee to, to come to work, we want them to do well, we want them to enjoy their job, but then we want them to be able to go home, right? right. And enjoy their family. And I think when you can extend that, that, that comfort or that safety level to the home, what a better way to sustain something, right? Because you're sustaining it throughout the family structure. And it's so important, our people are so important to us. And for them to come, work safely, and then to be able to go home uh, to enjoy their families. Uh, you know, that work-life balance thing is so important, I think, to us as an organization, and I think will help sustain us into the future. Listen, appreciate you being here today. Yeah. Appreciate you sharing your thoughts. Yeah. Uh, excited about the work that we've been doing. Excited about the work we're going to do. Yeah, me too. Thanks.